what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back and if you notice i'm whispering a little bit and talking closer to the mic okay because it's late and i don't want to wake my girl i don't want to talk too loud even though the room is soundproof um <clears throat> my voice just carries through the house sometimes so um but any case um we're gonna jump into this and you already know what I'm looking forward to already. You guys have probably jumped to the episode already. But in any case, I'll see you guys for the review. All right. Um. Yeah. So I had to go back there. I'm also. I'm. 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 I'm doing this review on a different day. I don't even know if my. Sh probably not wearing the same shirt at least so you probably noticed that by now that you come into the video but what I want to say is this guys um, reviewing episode 9 and 10 here um, yeah from you know Lydia coming to I thought she was gonna help her moms and she's like nah bro I'm here for Daryl that was pretty cold-blooded you know what I'm saying so I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next. I'm about to watch 11 and 12 right now. Um, so I'm just looking forward to seeing what they're going to do in episode in those two episodes and also the, the other three, 13, 14, 15, um, to see what develops here um, into something that is better than maybe what has been happening before now i know i say this a lot guys so i just want you guys to understand my disdain my my um my anger towards these new characters and it's not to say that the show is not giving them good lines to deliver i just think that they're bad actors not just kelly but also um i think connie is the best and the most keepable if if that's a word person out of this group that i would like to see go on with the show but they obviously she got trapped in the cave with the other one um you know what i mean uh so i don't know if we're gonna see connie again you know what i'm saying so um the asian girl asian lady that was a lawyer as we found out seems like she's the one that's running hilltop and i, ha I have a, a kind of a problem with that you know what i'm saying but i'm not i'm not gonna say anything i'm just saying that there's so many other people i mean since maggie left tara died even i would have been okay if what's his name the dude that was a savior man i can't remember his name right now but you guys know who i'm talking about that kind of became a son to um that other guy that i can't remember his name right now he lost his son earlier i think it's in season nine he lost his son that's how he got introduced to the series he lost his wife at the end of season nine you guys know who i'm talking about the old dude that adopted the baby right that adopted the, the the um the baby that they named adam right so you guys know who i'm talking about right i just can't remember their names right now because they haven't been prominent characters yet for me i mean i could they've been around long enough for me to remember their names i just did i'm just drawing a blank right now but you guys know who i'm talking about in any case right they're just the the, the asian lady the the other one that that you know was in prison or whatever situation is she went to prison or she did some time she did time okay and kelly three of the worst actors i've i've seen in 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 a tv show in a long time time and i mean a very long time i'm talking about the acting just it, it just feels like they're overacting every scene that they're in it's just like we're trying to force emotions so much on these characters it's kind of like they just don't know how to deliver that in a sincere way or a, not a sincere way a believable way you get what i'm trying to say and it just comes off really corny because they're always so emotional. I think Connie, she's deaf and she's not as emotional as these three. It's like, why are these characters so emotional about every little thing? It's like, 
it's like they just it's like the pandemic just hit them it's like the apocalypse just hit them you know what i'm saying it's just they're overacting i get what they're trying to portray so if i follow the story just for the story you get what i'm saying i can still follow the story you know with the lines that they're delivering it's just that them as the actor not delivering those lines where it's believable but i get where the story is going to go by the lines that they're uttering right so it's not to say that i'm not enjoying the story it's just their characters are not delivering the lines the way that i would want them delivered to me in a believable way where i can say okay that's pretty sad you know what i'm saying it's just you ever see somebody fake crying I don't know if you guys have ever seen that before, but when people fake cry, it's very obvious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's very obvious. So I'm kind of like in that boat now where I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, could do without them or get better actors. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it, it, you know, and it's not that I'm saying the addition shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Or they shouldn't have added any characters or whatever the situation is. But I'm saying if you're going to add people, is that the best they could have gotten for the roles? You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at the people who has come in and had short stints on the show. The guy that play, played Noah. Brilliant actor. You get what I'm saying? He was in the show for less than a season, really. You know what I'm saying? I thought, or, you know... I don't know how many episodes he in, but I'm pretty sure he's in less than 16 episodes. So less than a season, right? So, um, and he was in, and he was very convincing, the lines that he delivered. And, you know what I'm saying? Of course, he's got credentials behind his name. I know he's the guy that was in um, Everybody Hates, Hates Chris, which is a show that I liked back, like watching back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Um, very talented dude. I didn't even know that he did a stint on The Walking Dead until I watched it, right? Um, so, and I've seen him in other movies and stuff like that. So, I know he's a good actor. I'm not saying everybody can be that good, but you got to be able to deliver lines in a convincing way. And it's not, you know, somebody putting eye drops in your eyes and, 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 you know, tears running down your cheeks and you just can't convince me that that was an emotional moment. Like when people are delivering emotional moments, I can feel it. Notice the difference between when Carol speaks emotionally and, and, and when one of these guys speaks emotionally, notice the difference when Daryl speaks emotionally versus when they speak emotionally and i hate to kind of talk about the acting with these characters so much because that's not really what i'm talking about so in the last episode you know what i'm saying um that we just watched you know we got to see you know some very disturbing things happen you know what i mean um you know we saw you know some people getting lovey-dovey you know megan getting a surprise some surprise mechanics. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just, you know, ill. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, furthermore, you know what I mean? Like, that that just didn't look right on the screen. But hey, but hey, you know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is this: when it comes to Negan, I I'm I'm refusing to believe that he's went on over to the other side. I refuse to believe that because it can't be true. It can't be true. Why would you waste all this time, basically a season and a half doing a redemption arc for a character and then throw the character to the wolves again? It does doesn't make sense. It's just to me, they would lose points in my opinion if that's the case. Okay, so anyways, guys, um, I'm just looking forward to watching these final five episodes. Hope you guys are enjoying these reactions, man. I really love it out here. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys later as I keep slapping my mic because I'm moving my damn hands so much. Anyways, appreciate you guys, and I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.